now let's look at geometric progression so geometric progression is a sequence of numbers where each term is obtained by multiplying a constant with their previous term so uh, let's have an example um, let's have uh, uh, 15 as our first number and then uh, what happened if 15 multiply by 1 over 3 so you get 5 and then 5 you multiply by 1 over 3 you get 5 over 3 and then 5 over 3 multiply by 1 over 3 you have 5 over 9 5 over 9 times 1 over 3 you have 5 over 27 then you have 5 over 81 and then you have 5 over uh, 243 okay so I think it is enough for our example right so this is what we call as the first term first term second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh term okay so if this arrangement is a geometric progression what arrangement is not a, a geometric progression so for example if we have 15 and then uh, you have 5 and then you have uh, negative 5 so this is not a geometric progression because this is 15 minus 10 you have 5 minus 10 you have negative 5 so this is actually an arithmetic progression so what are not um, geometric Geometric progression will be those arrangement which when you multiply, for example, you have to find what we call as ratio here. Ratio that is this first, uh, second, sorry, the second divide by the first will be 5 over 15, which is 1 over 3. And this divide by this, 5 over 81, divide by 5 over 27. So this one I do not know. So I have to change to over five. I cut here and I have one over three. So any other any arrangement that will not result into common ratio is not called a geometric progression. So if this case is called geometric progression because five divided by 15, one over three this one divide by this one will be 1 over 3 the fourth divide by the third one will be 1 over 3 and so on and so forth so is this arrangement a geometric progression test divide second by the first one so you have 1 over 3 40 over 3 divided by 40 without using calculator you have to change this 1 over 40 cut you have 1 over 3 so it means this is a yes this is an uh, arithmetic progression how about B there is 0 0.03 second one is 0 0.003 the third one 0 0.0003 okay so try divide 0 0.003 0 0.03 0. 0, 0, 0.003 divided by 0. 0.03 you have 0. 0.1 0. 0.1 so how about if this divide 0. 0.0003 divide by 0. 0.003 you 
have 0 0.0003 divided by 0 0.003. So it is 0 0.1. So you can see we have common ratio of 0 0.1. So the answer for this one is yes or so. How about the question 1c? So if you divide 2x by x plus 1, uh, that's the answer. Uh, how about this one? 5x plus 12 divided by 2x. Are they similar? No. So you don't have to test the fourth one. You don't have to divide the fourth with the third one because this is also already failed the test. Second divide by the first is this answer and then the third divide by the second one is this answer they are not equal so uh, it's confirmed that they are, they are not geometric progression okay let's continue with uh, number 2a so it says here that this is an uh, a geometric progression so geometric progression could be uh, from a big number for 15 uh, 5 5 over 3, 5 over 9, or it could be from 5 over 9, then 5 over 3, and then 5, and then 15, and so on and so forth. Okay, so if from here, so it means you multiply by 1 over 3, or divide by 3. Okay, it's better to use the uh, division uh, multiplication. So 15 times 1 over 3, you get 5. 5 times 1 over 3, you get 5 over 3. Similarly here, this one is you multiply by 3. By multiply by 3. It could be both ways. Okay? So, uh, let's uh, look at the numbers that we have, that we can solve. First is this 2, and then there's uh, empty space here, 8. Okay? So, this one is smaller than this one. So, what is the number that we can multiply? Um, you get here and then multiply by the same constant. You get 8. So, 2 times 2 will be 4. 4 times 2. Okay? So, 4. Because times 2 here, times 2 here. And then, uh, how about this one? 1 times something, that something, times something, then you get 4. So, it should be 2 here. So, because 1 times 2, 2 times 2, you get 4. And then here will be, you can start with 8 or you can start with 1 over 2. Uh, it's easier from the, uh, the, the bigger number to the smaller number. So, 8, uh, if you divide by 2, you get 4. 4 divided by 2, you get 2, not 1 over 2. So, you have to test. So, in this case, let's try with divide by 4. 8 divided by 4, you get 2. 2 divided by 4, you get half. So, it means you multiply by 1 over 4. So, you get 2. Then, you multiply by 1 over 4. You, you get 1 over 2. And then, from here to here, will be multiply by, by 4. So, you get 32. Because 32 times 1 over 4, you get 8. So, either way you look at it, as long as you can get the answer, no problem. Okay, uh, so for 2B, um, the way it's presented here, so I will start from here, uh, from here I will go to here. So, 1 over 24, how to make it a 1 over 12? So, if I were to multiply by 2, I multiply by 2, I can cut here and here. So, in order from here to go to here, I multiply by 2. So, I get 1 over 6. Okay, but then the arrangement here will be different. So, I'll go from here to here. So, 1 over 3 times 1 over 4. So, it becomes 1 over 12. So, this similarly should be multiplied by 1 over 4 also. So, it will be 1 over 48 but then from here to here will be multiplied by 1 over 2 so 6 times 2 you got 12 so from here 
come here is multiplied by 1 over 2 so it become 1 over 24 um, the last 2 should be from here for, from 1 over 48 you go to 1 over 24 how to do it that is multiply by 2 then you can cut 2 and 48 then you get this one so this one is multiplied by 2 also to go here so 2 and 24 cut you get 1 over 12 now it's trick, uh, tricky uh, really tricky uh, a little bit more so 1 over 3 here then empty space and here is 1 over 12 if you multiply by 1 over 4 you get directly to here but so from 1 over 3 to get to this box and then multiply by something to get 1 over 12 that is you multiply by 1 over 2 so you get 1 over 6 then 1 over 6 multiply by 1 over 2 then become 1 over 12 okay so actually uh Usually this type of question will not asking you to how to but just fill up the box. Number three, uh, if you read the question, given that x minus 2, x plus 1, 4, x plus 4 are 1, 2, 3, are three consecutive terms in a geometric progression, state the positive value of x, hence list the first three terms and state the common ratio. So we have to find the value of x. So these are the first three terms. So the first three terms means how to find the value of x. So x plus 1, the second divided by the first is equal to 4x plus 4 over x plus 1. Um, how I know that we have to do that? So look at back to our example just now. That is, we start with 15, and then we have 5, then we have 5 over 3. So, if we divide 5 over 15, you get 1 over 3. 5 over 3 divided by 5, you still get five or, uh, 1 over 3, the common ratio. So, so how to solve this? You cross multiply. We have x plus 1 times x plus 1 equals to 4x plus 4 times x minus 2 expand the bracket you have x squared plus uh, x plus x plus 1 equals 4x squared minus 8x plus 4x minus 8 and then make it into general form so I bring everything on the left side to the right side 4x squared minus 1x squared will be 3x squared then we have here negative 8 plus 4 will be negative 4 then minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 6x and then negative 8 minus 1 will be negative 9 Okay, so and then we can uh, solve using factorization using calculator that is EQN Okay, so the value of A will be 3 B is negative 6 C is negative 9 So the first value is 3 The other value is negative 1 so x is 3 x is negative 1 so the factorization will be x minus 3 and x plus 1 equal to 0 so this is rejected because it says that the, the value state the positive value of x okay so the value of x will be 3 and then how to arrange we just substitute okay so the 3 minus 2 will be 1 3 plus 1 will be 4 4 times 3 plus 4 4 times 3 12 so 16 and then uh, what is common ratio 4 over 1 which is 4 or 16 divided by 4 still 4 
So common ratio is 4.